Hey, what is going on everyone? And welcome to another episode of Weekly Code Quickies. Your weekly updates for tech news, coding, tricks and tips, and more. As always, I'm your host, Norbert BM. And in this episode, we're going to talk about the new upcoming Microsoft 11 operating system. But before we get into the video, liking and sharing our content really helps us out a lot and also helps others by spreading the word. And by subscribing to our channel and clicking that notification bell, you'll be constantly up to date with the latest and greatest. Now Windows 11 is around the corner and what we saw for the latest Microsoft presentation, it will pack a punch. But the question is, is Windows 11 going to be a revolution for us coders? And will it make our lives easier by better screen management, better communication possibilities and all around better performance? Now for full disclosure, I'm also a Windows 10 user and a Mac OS user and I use each of them for different purposes. Also in my humble opinion, each of them are great in some tasks and are horrible in other tasks. Now, getting back to Windows 11, I must say that visually it does have some improvements. Although it kind of reminds me of Windows Vista, yuck. But as long as it won't be that clunky as Windows Vista, I'm just happy with a visual update and some performance updates. Now from the get-go, I must say that there are three major improvements that me as a coder is looking forward to. That will be snap layouts, external monitors, and well, Microsoft Teams. But let me explain. So snap layouts. Now Windows 10 already had an exceptional snap feature that made our lives so much easier, which Mac OS, well, is still lacking. But for what Microsoft just presented, they even made it better. So I'm looking forward to it. Now the new snap layout feature will let us style Windows quickly and easily in different orientations. And we all know how helpful this could be when working on huge projects. So from what I saw in the presentation, they really made it much better. So yay, improvement on that part. Next up, let's talk about external monitors. Now, I don't want to say that you absolutely need a second monitor to be a coder, but it helps. And a third and a fourth monitor is even better. Well, me personally, I would never go back to one monitor setup. Heck, I would rather add more monitors to my setup as it is right now. For example, behind me, I have a MacBook Pro hooked up to a widescreen and in my other room, in my editing room, I have a PC hooked up to two monitors. So somehow more monitors equal better performance. But here's where Windows 11 comes into play. Microsoft claimed that Windows 11 will have a screen monetization system, which for Mac users sounds familiar and for Windows 10 users is what? So let me explain. If you have a multi-monitor setup, plugged in into your laptop and you have everything organized nicely on all monitors, the moment you unplug that setup from your laptop, everything will scramble and remain scrambled even after you plugged it in. Now on a Mac, for example, back here, if I unplug my MacBook Pro from my monitor, after I plug it back in, everything remains exactly as I set it up. So by implementing the screen memorization system, Windows 11 will be as claimed able to do exactly the same thing as the Mac OS does. And that is to remember your setup even after you plug, unplugged it and plugged it back in. Now, whether or not this will be as good as they showed in the trailer or even better, we'll be monitoring that. Now, my last point is communications. And as it stands, Microsoft Teams will be integrated within Windows 11. Communication in any kind of Teams is the key to success. Now, whether it is done through FaceTime, Zoom, Skype, or Microsoft Teams, it is irrelevant as long as the technology works and its purpose is fulfilled flawless. Now, flawless is a key word because for those of you who remember, if you try to communicate through Skype, the very first thing that you would ask, you wouldn't even say hi, the first question would be, can you hear me? Now, if Microsoft Teams will be the preferred way to communicate in Windows 11, we will see about that, but at least it comes with the OS by default. So in conclusion, whether or not Windows 11 will be an improvement for us coders, only time and of course testing will tell. Now for more updates on Windows 11 and coding news, stay tuned to the channel by subscribing and clicking that notification bell in order to get notified whenever we release new content like this. Also, if you liked the video, then hit that like button. And if you have any kind of questions or suggestions, consider them leaving them in the comment section below. With this being said, catch you next time. Bye-bye.